Okay, so now I have another question. My second question asks, if we can express tenths as hundredths and hundredths as tenths, can we add the fraction three tenths plus four one hundredths? Notice three tenths plus four one hundredths have a different denominator. But with learning what we just learned, can I still add these? The answer is yes, I can, because I can express my fractions in tenths as a fraction in one hundredths and a fraction in one hundredths as a fraction in tenths. Okay, so let's add this problem, three tenths plus four one hundredths. So can I express four one hundredths as a tenth easily? No, I can't. See how, because the four one hundredths don't make a full tenth right here, my four purple boxes don't make the full size of my blue boxes. So in this scenario, it's going to be much simpler to change my three tenths to one hundredths. Because can I represent easily the three tenths and one hundredths? Yes, I can. Remember, I can just add a zero. So it becomes 30 one hundredths plus four one hundredths. Notice now I have the same denominator. So I still have to have the same denominator to add, but because I can easily convert between tenths and one hundredths, you can think of adding the three tenths plus four one hundredths. So when I do this, remember, my denominator stays the same. It stays at 100. And then I add my numerators to get my final answer. So the answer becomes 34 one hundredths. Three tenths plus four one hundredths equals 34 one hundredths. Okay, in this problem, I have three tenths plus 40 one hundredths. So in this problem, can I easily compare or convert my 40 one hundredths to tenths? Yes, I can. See how it's different than this problem? My 4 one hundredths didn't make a full tenth, but my 40 one hundredths make up full tenths. So in this problem, I can really say that I have 3 tenths plus four tenths because my 40 one hundredths is the same thing as four tenths. And so remember, or notice my denominator stayed the same. I go ahead and put that number down and my answer becomes seven tenths. If I were to take these three sections right here, or rather if I were to take the four purple sections and color them in on my tenths chart, I could count my total of blue and reds and I would come up with seven tenths. Okay, here's our last problem. So on this one, we're gonna add seven tenths plus 10 one hundredths. Notice on this problem, because I have a full 10 one hundredths, which equals a tenth, I can easily add these problems or these fractions either in tenths or one hundredths. And I want to show you both ways to do that. So if I'm adding them as tenths, of course my seven tenths stays the same. But you can see where my ten one hundredths becomes one tenth. So this becomes eight tenths. Remember, my denominator stays the same. Okay, but if I want to add it and convert these numbers to one hundredths, seven tenths would really become seventy one hundredths. See how the blue rectangles would make up the same area as seventy of my one hundred boxes? So I could say seventy one hundredths plus ten one hundredths. Equals eighty one hundredths. And of course, eighty one hundredths 
equals 8 tenths. If I were to divide 80 by 100 and 8 by 10, you can use a calculator to do that, they would equal the same thing. So thanks for watching today, and I hope you learned how you can add fractions that have a denominator of 10 and 100.